Yeah, so we met Jerry Douglas when he was playing with the Country Gentleman, and I think he was 23 or something like that. 22, maybe. 22. Yeah, and um, I had just turned 23, so I felt like kind of a big shot. Tim was 24. Um, but it's really great to see all these relationships that have gotten to continue. Um, that last song is sort of the title song from our uh, last studio record. This is another one from, is it on that record? Yeah. Is it on that record? Studio record. Yeah. Studio record? Yeah. <laughs> we know our discography so well. Not all up here. <laughs> this is a song that uh, is kind of out of character for us, but it's, um, it's a song we love by a band we love. This is a Los Lobos tune called Burn It Down. <laughs>
songs were about leaving home and uh, walking away. Thank you, Jerry Douglas. You're about to meet a strange, big old creature that's a hundred years old. Anybody here, uh, the first actor today, that was uh, Jake, Blount, uh, Jake Blount and uh, Tatiana Hargreaves. That was a great set. I could listen to that stuff all day long. And uh, we're going to do a little old timey tune from Kentucky called uh, Glory in a Meeting House. Mr. Nick Forster on the mandolin.
Here's a um, here's a song written by a guy named J.D. Hutchison. You guys holding up okay out there, by the way? You doing all right? I'm going through the hot rest song pile, of which there are so many more. Um, it was uh, it was a treat for us to get to know this guy who was a really important person in Tim O'Brien's early life. There was a man called the Hutchison Brothers that were from Ohio. Tim grew up in Wheeling, West Virginia, and they were sort of like a, uh, an influence for him. And then J.D. Hutchison uh, was, is the songwriter who I think contributed three songs that we've recorded over the years, so more than I think any other songwriter. And uh, he died last year, J.D. Hutchison, and um, he lived in... He lived a really interesting life in, in Yellow Springs and that part of Ohio, but this is one of, one of his tunes. He was kind of a philosopher. This is a song that has uh, some of the most lonesome lyrics in it about uh, being dead and then maybe getting over your heartbreak. Maybe. That's just maybe. It's called My Little Darling. <laughs> 